Hi, it tankers. Welcome back, Dr. Alvero. Another nugget of information for you guys. I wanted to talk to you today about macronutrients and micronutrients, just a little bit, because I remember way back when, when I was really confused about what in the world those words meant. So um, I just figured I'd give you a quick rundown. Let's start with macronutrients. I know it's kind of a big word, but if you break it down, it's not so big. Macro means big, nutrient means something that nourishes you. And so a macronutrient basically describes molecules that are in our food that are, that are measured in large quantities that nourish us. And I know that sounds a little complex, but when you hear what they are, it won't be as complex. There are three basic macronutrients that are found in our food, and they are words you've heard, fats, proteins, carbohydrates. And those three words describe different chemical structures that are found in our food. And believe it or not, the structure of the chemical is what determines its function in our body. So even though fats, proteins, and carbohydrates are just molecules with a bunch of different atoms, the way that they're arranged and the kind of atoms that are in there when we put them in our bodies determine what happens inside of our bodies. They are found in multiple quantities in our food. This always confused me, by the way. People would say, oh, that's a good carbohydrate or this is a protein. Well, that's actually a little bit inaccurate. All foods have at least two out of those three. There's no such thing as just a carb or just a protein, really. So all foods have at least two out of three, and many foods have all three. An almond has fat and protein and carbohydrate in it. Okay, so different foods have different amounts of the macronutrients in them. And that's what a macronutrient is. On the other hand, what is a micronutrient? It's a big word, but it's really not that big. Micro means little, and nutrient is something that nourishes us. So micronutrients are molecules that are in our food that nourish us, that are tiny, that we actually need tiny amounts of. So macronutrients, fat, protein, carbohydrate, we need a lot, of, or those, those nutrients are measured in large quantities, in grams. Micronutrients, what are they? Vitamins and minerals, and we only need those in milligrams. When you look at your nutrition labels and you're reading them, the fat, protein, and carbohydrate are always measured in grams, and the micronutrients down below, manganese and, and iron and riboflavin, whatever, they're measured in milligrams or micrograms, and that's all the difference is. Macronutrients, fat, protein, carbohydrate, micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, all of our food has some combination of a bunch of those things. One very important thing to remember that I and we here at Eat Tank want you to remember, and this is very important, is that if you eat the right macronutrients, if you eat the, uh, the right combination of healthy fat, protein, and carbohydrates, then you really almost never have to worry about your micronutrients. You don't have to supplement with all these vitamins and minerals if you eat healthy, wide variety macronutrients, the proper amount of fat, protein, and carbohydrate in your life will make sure that you always get enough of the micronutrients. So there you have it. Big words, which I was very confused about for a long time, which actually, when you break it down, they're not that big. And when you think about the meaning, it makes sense. I'm glad you tuned in to learn about macro and micronutrients. You can impress your friends by busting out those huge words whenever you want, and now you know what they mean. Um, come back anytime you like. I'm here to teach you as much as I possibly can. Thank you for joining me. Bye.